Did he travel to Gobble? Yes. How did he do? I don't remember. Okay. Well, he didn't <laughs> win. <so. laughs> he, did. he did not win, but he did He did get to the, uh, I believe he got to top 32. Okay. But I don't remember his exact placement. But either way, we got to get right into it here. Got to talk about it instantly. I mean, we're not even, we're now 10 seconds in. We're already on the ledge. It's John Numbers here. Yeah. Uh, Ubal, you want to talk about about what makes John Numbers play so interesting? Oh, Numbers is a cartoon character. It's so awesome. Like so, of course, the focal point of Numbers' offense ends up being the ledge because he works not he works with the invulnerability that you provide with the utility of Wii Fit's ledge hang, just to make himself as hard to hit as possible. What he finds, what is problematic about that, theoretically, is that you're consistently put into the corner. But because Numbers then holds all of the timing mix-ups, he's allowed to play into with different rolls to ledge, utilization of deep breathing, and the different air speeds that non-deep breathing and deep breathing Wii Fit Trainer provide. Right. The problem in terms of numbers specifically is that I don't think he's been able to take a set off of Jen in maybe three months. <laughs> <laughs> so what is Jen doing right here if John Numbers is such a tempo maker? Because how he, Jen acknowledges the win condition that it comes with how Numbers ends up playing and forces Numbers to play a little bit more forward, a little bit more on the front foot trying to find jumps because you need a lead against Palutena in order to take away just the spamming back air, like <laughs> poking, uh, explosive flame, auto radical, like consistent chipping away. You need a lead in order to do that, and that's what Numbers has right from the get-go. Yeah, and he's playing really, really well, and really, really aggressive, too. He's recognizing that he has a huge, huge lead, and now could be the okay time to actually not go to ledge. I've always said this about uh, John Numbers in particular. If you've seen uh, Hey Arnold, specifically the My episode goats. of... Uh, <laughs> Stoop Kid won't leave a stoop. John Numbers just won't leave the ledge. <laughs> no, he can't. Ooh, okay, though. Jen trying to get a little bit spicy here. I mean, we've talked a lot about Numbers, but we got to talk a little bit about Jen, too. He is one of the OG Palutena's in this game, especially oh, yeah. in Tri-State, right? Has been a household name. I don't think I've ever seen him play anybody else. Okay. He, yo, he, he got it. Yeah. No, <laughs> he, he got you that. You can't grab that. Like, you can crouch underneath Palutena's dash grab and standing grab, so that is matchup knowledge from both Numbers and Jen, and a incredible pinpoint of both these players' matchup awareness and the Yomi levels that are going to come down with it, because both of these two are already on level two. It's kind of crazy, too. I mean, you think of how many times John has re-grabbed the ledge, and only now Jen is able to get the dash attack that at least props him up. But speaking of prop up, there is the up tilt. Not going to be able to find much else, but here we go. Finds the first up air. But I feel like Jen is being very, very cautious with some of these combos, because you know what? You just can't go into disadvantage, especially now when you're almost above 100 150%. Yeah, just making sure. It's a type of discipline where you can never assume that anything's guaranteed. Right. And while that's a little bit hesitant when it comes to the amount of damage you can get, because a true combo is a true combo, it is of showing numbers a lot of respect and a lot of respect to the position that Jen is in right now, slowly whittling down the lead that numbers had so huge not a minute ago. Yeah, I'm loving the way, too, that John, once again, these players have played each other so much. The matchup uh, experience only grows here, and John definitely showing, like, the little bits and pieces that are making a really big difference right now. Like, for example, the crouch, etc. I love the getup attack there. Going to go on ahead, use the down special here. Because now Jen needs to find a Palutena paint drain. We need to find a couple nares. We need to find a couple of strong hit backers. We found one, found two. We're looking for number three. Instead, the up air there. It's not going to be enough, but I like the mix up at least to get the down special like buff off yeah again taking a, oh, <laughs> taking and mixing in the high percentage plays like the, with that up air making sure that you get the damage making sure that you put numbers into nice. stuff like down tilt into forward air range but also being sure to never make sure always make sure that numbers isn't just comfortable where he's sitting whether it be with explosive flames auto reticles or just some of these back airs and down airs and pressing right up against the ledge shout out to palutena being privileged as we get right back to it. It's a great shield there, blocking all of it here. I have to just applaud Jen's patience here. A lot of the times, like, I love the way that a lot of the times players will sometimes lose because they get a little bit too aggressive, right? But Jen has just shown perseverance on the ledge, saying, you know what, I'm not gonna let you bully me all the way here. I'll find a way out and I'll outpatient you. And Jen has gone from being pretty down bad, but now bringing it back to 
pretty darn even. Yeah, even overtaking the lead here, Lyric, as he finds the Nair back air. Seeing if Numbers goes for it. Yet another ledge hop option he did. Palutena back air just so good at stuffing out all of these headers from ledge and any of the different aerials that Numbers typically likes to do whenever he's trying to call out people playing close like this. Yeah, still the, now is go time for John. I mean, we have, we're buffed up, we're ready to go. There's the up tilt, looking for the up air, not gonna be able to find it. Finds the header though. And now we're going to switch positions okay. here on the ledge. No jump, like you said, but now it's all Jen. How do you come out of the corner so patient? So caring, but it will be the back air out of shield, and that's definitely going to take it. Game one goes to John Numbers. Yo, did he? Okay, I'm not sure if you can do this, so this is just conjecture. But sure. Numbers may have done B reverse deep breathing, Go. which does theoretically nothing, but yeah. it turns you around. Mm. And Wii Fit's best option out of shield is back air. So being able to not only threaten your deep breathing charge, get it, then also be in your proper position to back air out of shield for the win was such good play from numbers in mid stage there. Super nice, especially as the a long, long game one that that was. Yeah, literally long. As these sets can go and feel like they go on forever. And it's so important to keep the momentum, especially when that game one was going literally down to two minutes here. But we're seeing a very different John Numbers. And this is the John Numbers that I love to watch, right? Getting these weird advantage points just like randomly, like a spurt of energy, right? right. Where the batteries just kind of turn on. It's like when your like, Xbox controller keeps like dying on and off, <laughs> and then it's like, all right, it's on again. So John going to start with a pretty good lead right now. Jen looking for something here, but once again, we're seeing the same pacing as, as game one. Yeah, slow and steady is certainly going to win this race. Down air onto the, the uh, soccer ball in order to try and get to hit ledge. Jen, though, taking his time and making sure that he gets single hits and then the ability to disengage. Every game is close. Every game, every so percentage is worked for. 170 and still not reliably able to close out this stock. Jen playing this high percentage situ situation masterfully here, Lyric. Loving the way that we drifted out as well. Just a very quick, like, oops, let me just get right out of there. John, though, going to just take a passive route back up to the stage here as Jen lining up perfectly for the back air. And now, once again, Jen has to find this stock, but instead will unfortunately eat a whole sun salutation to the face. Yeah, that's a, some classic stuff. Oh, if you're gonna start pressuring on ledge, I've got this projectile charged and ready for you. The dash grab will look Jen reaching just a little bit ends up eating almost 40% after a couple of these interactions. And Numbers is playing low to the ground to make sure that none of these back airs or none of these straight hit options that Jen is usually really proficient at are going to connect easily. We're starting to see the lead also to kind of like start running away here in John Numbers' favor here. I love how Jen's trying to catch John jumping, but it's so tricky when this character in itself is so tricky. There's the back air out of shield here, finds the parry, great air dodge by John, knows exactly what's coming here. But now you got to get out of the corner again, but John, no stress at all. Oh, and the re grab as well. Great parry on the part of Jen, though. Just trying to find that finishing hit. I want to see a couple forward airs there instead. I know the up airs are there to try and anticipate John jumping out of disadvantage, but if John's going to give up the forward air with no air dodge and no nothing, take it. Yeah. Okay, once again, nice, nice reflect. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> nice, 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 giant, giant screen that does it for you. <laughs> nice, nice, good job, got it. <laughs> I mean, two stocks and two right now. Jen going to be almost at 100%. There's the dash attack when it actually works here, but we gotta get a little bit more off of it. Still though, here comes the first Nair into the back air, and now it's go time for Jen. We gotta get something going, but unfortunately will bounce off the ledge here, which gives John some time to get back into position, at least for a moment here. Oh my goodness, what is John going for? He is so goofy. Mm -hmm. The down tilt threat, oh, and the deep edge guard as well with that forward air. The run in crouch prevents the grab reaction coming out from Jen, and the down tilt hits at that same angle, so you yeah. You can threaten the stock with exactly that, a ton of doing, as well as doing a ton of shield damage. Like everything from numbers is, as you're mentioning like a little earlier, lyric. Like everything from numbers is just very, very like well understood. Even yeah. if it's not always well oriented, even if it's not always optimal, it works for him and how he orients his whole game plan. 
as the complete pivot is just getting turned on its head. Up smash, finishing out stock and game number two. Jen looking like a little bit lost and the first time in a while that it seems like he's behind the eight ball when it comes to John numbers. Is that a tree? Is that a tree pose? Um, what is that? What pose is that? Chat, let us know. I can't see chat, but let us know when I bought for you. <laughs> so like, okay, because so, forward smash is the warrior. Is it the, because the tree goes Production, backwards. can we get, can we get some, um, but, but <laughs> can we get some the, help on yeah. the, what the, I'm, what we fit trainer up smashes? <laughs> Oh, oh, it is a oh tree let's, go, let's go, let's go. I haven't done yoga since like <laughs> summer camp, I think, back in the day or Shout so. out to We Fit Yoga. This is because the the female one's the yoga instructor and the male one's the strength instructor. All right, this is going to be my only bad block or my only bad joke this block, but oh, I used to. One. I, yeah, I get one. <laughs> um, we used to try and name the We Fit trainers. Um, so oh. I said that female We Fit trainer, her name is Brianna, and oh, male okay. We Fit trainer is Brian because they look like that. Okay. And someone said Taylor and Taylor because you can kind of go back and forth. And okay. I was like, all right, okay. that one's yeah. good too. I'm respecting Dranji. We're on Final Destination though. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my best, man. <laughs> we're on Final Destination, so we actually get rid of all the platforms, but we're actually going to a bigger stage. What do you think about this one? Uh, I think the idea here is to make numbers as uh, to remove as much control from the variables as numbers had on small battlefield. For those that don't know or don't watch uh, the Xeno streams or know John numbers. What are you doing if you're not what, watching the Xeno streams? What are you streams? doing? <laughs> Give me your phone. But <laughs> the, the numbers is home place. As we were talking about earlier, comfort is Hearth. everything. Is his heart is not only Xeno, but it's small battlefield. But as much as I belayed this point, Numbers is equally as comfortable in this position right here, playing so well today and up a whole stock and, and they're looking just to keep on piling on this damage. We would love the air dodge too, but it will just be Jen having enough of some of these slippery games that John has been playing this entire time. There's a dash attack into the forward air, dash attack once again. So now Jen going to get back on the board and this is looking a little bit more like game one, right? We're seeing kind of a massive lead and then Jen's able to find a way to thread the needle really well. Linking in the up tilt as well. Going for the hard read on the F smash. You gotta hope that that didn't completely take the motivation out here. Now John stuck on the ledge once again, but unfortunately for Jen, not gonna be able to get the grab here. As now John going to be all buffed up and a whole son to work with as well. Oh, the threat of so much there from John, but only taking a dash attack. You take that to the bank of your Jen. Just holding steady and without deep breathing. We fit loses a ton of that raw hit kill power. A, at 140, a sun salutation didn't close out the stock granted from full stage, but like, you were absolutely in advantage here and are need to start pressing Ooh. and doing so with the explosive flame. Jen able to find that stock and retake the lead. The first time that we've actually seen Jen have a lead here. Now it's not a yeah. massive one, right? I mean, it could go away at any time. Yo, Jen Maybe throwing out. <laughs> All I'm going to say is sometimes the best way to throw your opponent off is to either walk or stand there. And honestly, it definitely threw John for a little bit of a loop. But we are going down to last stock here in game number three. John numbers up 2-0. So this is Jen's last stock in winners here. I know John just wants to go fight Zamba at this point, but Jen having to play a little bit more careful. Who knows what's going to happen? Hard to say, really. This has been a very interesting, like, ebb and flow type of momentum to these games. Despite John being up 2-0, it kind of just depends on the situation. And now Jen is starting to press his advantages a little bit, calling out those nothing options from John twice over there. If you're not air dodging, Palutena has the speed to keep up with you and overtake you instantaneously. The FD counterpick working out in the late game there, Lyric. Yeah, really good stuff, right? I mean, it's a bigger stage, but less places for John to really kind of run to, right? A lot of the times you were saying a small battlefield, right? We can use the platform. We don't have to use the platform. But John is really only having like a couple options there, right? Hang on the ledge, roll, get on the stage, or go out there. And honestly, Jen has had enough of John just kind of hanging out off stage, you right. know, air dodging, recovering left and right. Getting a little bit of a question here on uh, probably DSR, bands, yeah. can you go back to the same stage as you won on, et cetera, et cetera. 
because you know John wants to go right back to small battlefield. If it is allowed, he will go back to small Absolutely. battlefield. Or Let guess, John go back to small battlefield. Will you do it? Will he do it? Will he do it? Mm -hmm. And it's such a like a misnomer almost, or like a that's not the right word, but it's hard to consider. Hey, small battlefield is arguably the most neutral stage in the game against a neutral monster in Palutena. Why wouldn't I want to go there? But right. not is that is not going to be the case as Jen bans her and chooses wisely as we're going to be heading to Hollow Bastion for game four as Jen is two steps away from a reverse 3-0. I'm actually a little bit concerned about this pick two, Ubal. I mean, we got to talk about the Black Stones on this stage are a little bit weird, right? Yeah. And for what we were talking about last game with John not being able to KO uh, off of like a full-blown sun salutation here. Now we're kind of having a weird hitboxes, but I think Jen has woken up at this point and now we're seeing a much more aggressive gameplay here and still soaking in the entire sun here and even getting a Nair for punish. Big stuff here from the part of Jen, especially given the stage layout, as you were mentioning earlier, Lyric, like the similarities between Hollow Bastion and FD are uh, a lot. The same blast, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> same blast zones, same stage width. The only thing added is the fact that there's a Smashville platform there now, which is, you know, that's nice. Ooh, so I, nice of them. I was waiting for the down air. Jen not pulling the trigger, but instead just taking these high percentage plays. Oh, as numbers misses the deep breathing. That's really that's big. Yeah, that's a big turnaround. Yeah, recognizing that he missing the missing the deep breathing here means a different game plan now. Right. Going to be the forward throw. Going to be able to have it now. So we're looking for something. I just love the way that he just crouches and he gets stucks for it. What does Palutena do? Land on you with exactly down air? Yes. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we, we can do that to 180. Oh, taking 25 as the attempt for the uh, explosive flame was there. Man. Okay, now, once again, back into neutral here. John Numbers with a little bit of a lead. Not as much as we saw last game, but Jen, we saw kind of the, the signs of life come out. We saw that very aggressive Palutena gameplay a little bit earlier here. Ooh, get a little bit of a uh, Wild West Shield standoff. Not going to be enough, though. Jen going all the way out there, but here goes John pressing that B button as fast oh, as possible. We are who really still holding on to the advantage here and now may actually lap that header bait was insane it's he literally so was just like i'm doing it just kidding yeah. just being able to cancel it instantaneous like th like that on top of the multiple angles when it comes to we fits reverse hitboxes for those that don't know on every forward input uh, you, and as well as jab we fit has a reverse hitbox as well as a forward one for forward tilt you can send either the way that Weef it's facing or the back hit sends straight up, which makes it such a good ledge trapping tool, especially on reaction. And that's exactly what numbers hit with in the stock number two. Jen's still trying to fiend his way back, but we're in a deep hole here, Lyric. Yeah, we're in deep neutral. You know how you yeah. have like levels of sleep? Now we have deep neutral, and now it is going to be the reversal. Oh, oh. man. Bro. That's two What's going two. on with the endings of our sets? <laughs> Do, not the I thumbs up! I love up. numbers, dude. He's so... Oh my God. <laughs> Why'd he do that? Because he's not a human. He's a cartoon character. <laughs> he's AI. He's John an numbers. AI. John he, he's an AI synthetically created individual. Look at him wave. Follow him. I follow, follow him. him. We follow must him. know where he goes. Where, what in the world <laughs> is John Numbers? The world may never know. I love John so much. You know, and we were talking a little bit earlier about one-of-a-kind people. That is a one-of-a-kind person. <laughs> he was who I was thinking of. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> he is him. <laughs> he is him. <laughs> I love numbers. Really great showing from John numbers. And Jen, this said, it goes to show, once again, nobody beats you four months in a row. Oh, my God. There was... <laughs> I'm not sure if it, it, how many sets it was, but there was, it's been a long time yeah. since Numbers has been able to close out a set against Jen. And I mean, kudos right here for being able to do it at a C tier, as opposed to just doing it at one of your normal weeklies. You're, you're finding that win right now. Uh, we were saying nice. a little bit earlier, man. Uh, New York City is John Numbers' hearth and home, yeah. and we are really, truly in hearth and home right now. Winners' finals here at Alpha 6 will not be Long Island. It will not be New Jersey or Pennsylvania. It will be a New York City showdown. Get the Xeno 
winners finals and grands you know here still yep. in new york city you love to see it hometown defending especially for a massive 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 pop bonus of uh three thousand dollars by the way that's yeah. a lot of money this entire event has been so so cool not it's only from the amazing bracket not only because of doubles being mm -hmm. shown off and getting to see long island's uh, prowess at that in particular True. but also some of the other stuff that's been happening around here like there's been a super mario sluggers like hardcore well, bracket amped. they are they're pumped amped. for it and it's awesome they are amped they are literally